Okay, here's a short talk on the pros and cons of wind energy. But first, let's talk about what is wind. How do we have wind in the first place? Well, the sun shines on the surface of the earth, but it doesn't heat it up evenly. So you've got forests over here, and you've got deserts over here, you've got lakes and oceans over here. So it heats the surface of the earth unevenly. Now what happens is that a hot part of the world, um, the air wants to rise. And when it does, it creates a little vacuum. In other words, the, the air that left, now air want, needs to rush in to fill the place where that air left. So that creates um, a stream of a fluid. We live in, a, in the air around us is actually like a fluid. It's not a liquid like water, but you notice that when the wind blows, it, it actually affects things. It knocks over, tr over trees and so forth and so on. So we think that there must be a way of harnessing that wind energy. And lo and behold, people have been doing this for thousands of years. So you go back, you know, people think of how long people have been sailing around the, the seven seas. Um, more recently, the Dutch people figured out how to use windmills to, to pump the water out of their place, otherwise it got very soggy there. So the reason that we have Holland um, is simply because the, the Dutch were smart enough to get that done you know, many hundreds of years ago. So this is an ancient technology. What else to like about it? Well, the fact that it's an ancient technology means a couple of things. One is that we have gotten to the point where we really have figured out, we're, we're getting better at this thing, but we've, we've figured out how to do this very efficiently and very inexpensively. The cost of generating electricity using wind is almost the exact same cost as coal. It's going to be, they're, soon they're going to be the same. So that's a good piece of news when you think about it. Who on earth would want to burn coal and kill people? Do you know 13,200 Americans are dead this year as a result purely of breathing the exhaust from coal. So we like the fact that it's clean. We don't like the fact, however, talking about pros and cons here, um, we like the fact that it's clean, we like the fact that it's inexpensive. We don't like the fact that it does have an ecologic impact. So in other words, and as do all of these things. So there's nothing you can do. Burning coal may be the worst, but there's nothing that you can do that doesn't have some environmental impact. So in the case of wind, it's largely about birds, it's about bats. So in other words, it, it, the pressure on one side of the wind turbine, you've seen these all over the place, uh, um, in, say, West Texas and California and elsewhere around the world. Um, but the, the wind turbine blades create a pressure, an issue with pressure that's very hard on bats. Also, they tend to kill birds. Not as many as you would think, but as I say, there are pros and cons of all of this stuff, so we might as well be fair and honest about this. A bird is actually 800 times more likely to be hit by a car and 1,200 times more likely to fly into a plate glass window, but it does, it's not good on birds either. So again, it's just a matter of the pros and cons. Um, moreover, in terms of, uh, these things take up a lot of space, and ecologically, if you have them in, for instance, Wyoming, will the animals in Yellowstone during the winter want to come go someplace else so now they're, they're traipsing all around these wind farms. That's no good. So, and in addition, there's something of an eyesore. Nobody thinks that it's pretty to have you know, hundreds of square miles all with these wind turbines. Having said that, I'll, I'll never forget what somebody told me about this um, who suggested that I go to Google Earth and fly over West Virginia and notice that they've knocked the tops off of all of those mountains huge and everlasting environmental devastation. And they did that because they'd rather do that than put wind turbines on top of those mountains. He goes, if you can, good luck trying to explain that one to me. So I'm, I'm, trust me, I'm not trying to explain it to him. I'm, I'm, I'm just trying to point out to you that there are pros and cons of all of this, and wind is no different.